Okay, I'm able to connect. I believe the speaker, yes, and I have the mic working now. I got it, I got it. You got it, you got it. Okay, guys. Hopefully you can hear the music. I'm trying to um, learn how to do the Zoom. You are my provider. I am about to share my screen and I will show my words. I've already placed the exercises, the reps. Restore my joy, Lord. Victory. Telling you, when you get Woo, stuck and just beat on in the process of trying to do good. It makes it hard to do good. But I'll tell you like this here, don't grow, don't grow weary in doing good. Don't grow weary in doing good, like for real. It feels good to do good. How about that? Praise God. So I did the letter P, I recorded that on my phone. Um, so I'm looking up. The whole word put on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. I'm about to share my screen. I need glory. I mean, ultimately, it's for the glory of God, guys. So I will put on a smile. I will put on a new man. I will do what I got to do. Okay. 10 alternate leg raise, 10 half curls. On is 15 butt bridges and 10 oblique crunch. And trust me. Okay, trust me, when I tell you, I am <laughs> excited about those three letter words, and the two letter words, because it's, it's only five letters, but it says a lot, because um, we put on every day. Every day we put on, I'll tell you that right now. Because you put on your clothes or you put on the happy face or you put on, put on, is every day. That's a part of action. So put on the new man. Ah, how about that? Take care, I'll see you go. Can't nobody tell me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Bye. All right, guys. We are headed to the floor. The mat. You know that breeze is chilly. It's like 35 degrees out here, y'all. Oh. Oh. All right, I am just repositioning to get repaired for my workout. Uh. Let me look up my letter. I'm down here. I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. I have them on my phone and on the computer. And you you get you're able to do this by using a Google Drive. Whenever you use a Word document in, in your Google Drive, you can access it on your phone too. Um 10 alternate leg raise for the letter U. Here we go. Okay, alternate pulse was like this. One. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. 
seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. Woo. The letter O, 15 butt bridges. And hey. Put on. Put on. What you say? The new man. Okay, I'm checking off, guys. That's it. Day seven complete. Not to be long and drawn out to get it done. Hey. I would like to show you guys how it work pays off. Okay. I'd like to show you guys how it work pays off. Here is is their rewards. I like say intangible rewards. They're not all flesh rewards. Okay, as you see, done. Not even 15 minutes, probably 20 minutes. Not even 20 minutes. So the excuses is out the window. You know what I'm saying? As far as not being able to post your words, not being able to uh, do the exercises. Um, going into spring, you'll be able to pick what exercises you want to take with you. Um, but the deliverance comes in moving your body. If you're not moving your body along with applying the words, then the deliverance takes harder for it to come because it has to exit it. The, these things have to exit the body, has to exit the body. So you got to move the body. You got to put action in God's words. So I'm going to show you some benefits. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here's a reveal. This is my midsection, leaving out of winter week nine. I have been going 14 straight days. Look at my midsection. Okay, so I just want to let you know, detoxing is a part of your deliverance. Did my detox tea this morning, lemon, hibiscus, ginger, and honey. I'm still on my detox tea. Um, I'm still going hard at the core. I'm still eating clean. Um, these things are keeping my mind where I need to be. The uh, fasting has deepened. It, uh, it moved from one hour to the entire morning to nothing at all. Um, so you you want to break down in steps. You don't want to just say, I'm going to quit drinking right now. Yes, you can say that. 
Um, but if you've been struggling with drinking, you want to be able to take steps. For instance, for me, whenever I eat skins or chips or any fried food, I crave alcohol, whether it be beer, liquor, you know, it don't matter. If I'm eating heavy and uh, fatty foods, I crave alcohol. So I didn't realize that, but the Lord knew. The Lord knew that if I, the Lord knew that if I took control of my gut and the things that I, the cravings that I put in my mouth, that it would change the cravings of the alcohol. So I went this entire time with no skins. Um, I was crunching on some chips. I haven't eaten some fried food, but it's, I haven't had a battle wanting to drink the alcohol whenever I eat that type of stuff. And I realized that, you know, these, these spirits of alcoholism and so forth run on my bloodline, run in my family. And the overeating runs in my family as well. So, so some of these spirits, they couple each other. Okay, I don't know if you can hear the music and you can't hear me, but I'm just basically letting you know that um, if one can put down a thousand, two can put down 10,000. Join me. We're better together. Thunder out. That's all I have to say, um, because you know your own battle, and I can't speak directly to you. I can only speak through me, so I know what I'm dealing with. So be be encouraged through my testimony. Okay, love you guys.